guys welcome back to my youtube channel makeup by yoli i'm so excited to bring you look number four yes this holiday retro glam inspired look now i know before we get started you're thinking i'm not wearing a red lip because it might make me look like this <laughs> Or you're thinking, it might make me look like that. Well, fear no more. My goal today is to help you create this holiday glam inspired look effortlessly. So if you want to see how I created this look right here, then keep watching. Hey guys, so the, for the overall look, I'm using the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette Remastered. And I'm gonna use several transition colors. The first color I'm gonna start with is a sandalwood. And I'm gonna use a tapered fluffy brush. And the reason why I chose a tapered fluffy brush is because it's really gonna help me to define the shape of the eye. Remember the whole point of a transition color is to warm up the eyes and to get it ready for the the darker colors that'll come that'll come next so all I'm doing right now is just blending out next color I'm going to use is my second transition color it's the henna color it's that brick red kind of color and I'm going to stick to my tapered fluffy brush and I'm just going to focus on the outer corners of my eyes and this is to kind of deepen that look, to warm it up even more so that it'll be ready for those darker colors. The whole point of creating that smoky eye is to make sure that those, trans those, those transition colors are put into place. Next, I'm gonna go in with a darker color, that cocoa color. And I'm going to still use my tapered fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna focus on the outer corner of the eye once again just to deepen that smoky eye that we're trying to create. After I added this color, I'm gonna go in next with my fluffy brush to clean up all the edges and to make sure that we blend so that this look comes out perfect. So the next color we're gonna use is that black color. It's the black truffle color. And this is to smoke out the eye. We're gonna keep with the same fluffy tapered brush that we used throughout pretty much this look. And once again, we're gonna focus on the outer corner of the eye. Wow, that is dark. <laughs> the color is so pretty. And it's really, really pigmented. So I'm really, really happy with the payout. Once we have all of the color deposited into the outer corner of the eyes, we're gonna go in with our fluffy brush and we're gonna to begin to blend, blend, blend. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the crease. And by doing so, we're gonna use my Tarte Concealer in light medium sand. And I'm going to use a flat synthetic brush. And I'm going to start to go into the inner and then work my way out three quarters in to create that nice cut crease. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just so that we can add the nice glitter that we're about to put onto the eye. we're going to go in with the second palette which is the Huda Beauty Nude Palette and we're going to focus on the two colors Concealed and Crave Glitter. Now the Concealed color is to hold that Crave Glitter in place and it actually is that it, it actually helps to make that color pop and it keeps the glitter on your lid like it doesn't even shift it's so good I, I they need to sell it like separately that's how good it is. I went in with my synthetic brush and I'm just packing on that concealed color. And then I'm gonna go in and add that Crave Glitter.
Next, I'm gonna go in with my wing liner. I'm using the Tarte Clay Paint Liner and I love it, love it, love it. And I'm using an angle brush. Now, as you can see, I'm trying to squeeze out the product, but what I love about this liner is that you squeeze out just the right amount of product that you need so you're not wasting product. And I love the way that it glides and it stays on the eye. At some point, I think I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to do a wing liner because I think it's so important. We're halfway done with the look. I'm going to apply my lashes. I'm going to blow on them a little just to make that glue a little tacky. So when I apply it onto my lid, it will actually stay in place. And then I, I have enough room to adjust so that it sits perfectly on my lash line. I'll probably do a tutorial on how to apply lashes in the future. I'm going to go in with my concealer, my Tarte concealer in medium. And I'm just going to dab right underneath my eyes because now we're just gonna focus on the face and kind of pull this look together. And I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Blender and I'm just gonna dab right underneath my eyes. I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier setting powder and I'm just going to powder and set underneath my eyes. Now I'm going to go in with my matte finish powder and I'm just going to powder my entire face and start to warm it up and add some color back into my life. Next is my favorite part which is the contour. I'm using my Park Avenue Princess palette. And um, the two colors that I chose to use is Angel and Crown. Next, I'm going in with my Cocoa Collection by Kylie Jenner, and I'm using Hollywood Boulevard. That color right there on my cheeks, and I'm using a blush brush to create this look. I'm so excited. It's the first time using the Cocoa Collection by Kylie Jenner. And by the way, I'm so excited. I'm finally using Kylie Jenner products. They're really good. The payout is really good. I like her highlighters. I mentioned I'm now using the Highlight Press Powder Palette by Kylie Jenner and the two colors that I chose is Money Doesn't Grow on Trees and It's Snowing Pussy Willows. The highlight payout is so good on this product. <laughs> I couldn't help but laugh at the name though. It's Snowing Pussy Willows. So this look is finally over. Now we are on to the red lip. Dun dun dun. And I'm going in with my MAC Lip Pencil and Brick. And the important part in this process is that you use a lip liner. That will help for you to not run into those problem areas where you, where the lipstick begins to bleed out or uh, you begin to make mistakes because with a lip liner, it kind of sets the base for the red lip. So if that makes sense to you, make sure that you guys use a lip liner prior to using the red lip. Don't just go into the red lip stick because it may bleed out. This helps to control it. is the holy grail Fenty yes 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 uncensored this lip color is amazing the applicator for this red lip is perfect it's easy to apply on the lips and it dries matte that is tip number two if you don't want bleed out from a red lip choose a matte color you can't go wrong Tip number three, use concealer to clean it. Yes, if you make mistakes, it can always be cleaned. Make sure to use the concealer that you use for underneath your eyes to clean underneath your lips, just to make sure that this red looks absolutely perfect. And tip number four, use a makeup Q-tip. This makeup Q-tip is different from a regular Q-tip because one side of the applicator actually has a point to it which makes it easier to clean up 
any kind of mistakes and to blend in that concealer. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you found it easy and simple. Yes, yes, yes. And if you want to see more content in the future, hit that subscribe button. Hit it. Just, just hit it and hit it. Yes, and follow. Yes. Also, if you like this look mm -hmm, and you want to see more looks like this, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, which would make me very, very sad. Either way, your feedback is much appreciated, and I thank you guys for watching. So until later, bye. The little jazz hands, bye. <laughs> bye, guys.